All right, this is gonna be a quick video on the N63 BMW F10 catch can uh, install. I got this right side in, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this left side in, and uh, just gonna share some of my tips and setbacks and frustrations with getting this catch can in. I'm gonna pull off this strut bar, heat shield, and then we can get a better look at a setup and see if this setup is gonna work. Um, for you and what you have. It's all gonna be based on uh, the intake system that you have in the car. If you have the stock, then the catch can is almost impossible. Um, but there are several different intakes setups that do make it possible. And I'm just gonna show you the one that worked for me after hours of searching YouTube. Now, so I got my catch can here and I've actually have that on a bracket, which I had to put on the bracket because it will not fit with the um, engine where the engine hooks go to pull the engine out. So these catch cans are a little bit bigger and the space is a little tight. So you can see that I had to put a little bracket in on this side just to get enough space to get that catch can in. And then I'm using these braided hoses and it's coming down to these AN fittings. And I'm going to give you a real close look at the AN fittings and show you um, how I got these in. So this is what we're looking at right now on the driver's side. And then I'm gonna actually put the passenger side in. And I'll apologize for my big thumbs being in the view of the camera and the noise you hear from these guys putting the roofing in across the way there. Um, so one thing that you will have to probably have is an intake setup. My intake setup is off of split mods and I'm gonna put split mods info at the bottom so that you guys can see that in case you wanna do it yourself on the intake. The setup for uh, the tubing and the carbon and the brackets, I mean, it does go all the way through and it comes out into the front. That is gonna cost, well, it cost me maybe about 500 bucks for all the parts and just put it in myself. Sergi also has a setup with everything that comes with it, and that's on BMW N63 Intakes Enthusiast. That's probably the best group to get into if you have a N63. Um, there's no question that goes unanswered. So uh, let me show you a closer look at what these are. So these are the NA fittings that I have. This one is actually, I think, a 145 degree. The other one is a 180. Don't eat the 180, 145 is fine. And I uh, just got these from a speed shop here in San Diego. I'll give a shout out to the speed shop where I got this, at JB Auto Speed Shop in Curry. So those guys are good. Also have the braided hose. Seamless. Let me turn this around for part numbers in case you have part number for these. So here's the part number. And this one is the uh, 145 degree, I believe. And then this one, I'm not even sure this is not a straight one, but um, I don't remember the key on that, but if you look it up, it'll probably show up with a part number on that. All right. And on the breather hose, I'm gonna actually take this off and I'm gonna unhook it, unhook these clips here and unhook these clips here. And then once I get that unhooked, these four clips here, these four clips here, this will pull straight out. And then we'll actually cut, right? We'll cut this, cut this right off. And these two screws are gonna be the T30s. Okay, so now we have the breather hose off. These clips come off pretty easy. And now I have to cut these in. So I'm gonna cut this in here, cut this in here, pull this off, and then I'll have both of my pieces off. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and sand that down. And I'll sand that down with the Dremel, and then that'll be able to get our AN fittings on. So let's get that done. So once you have that split, then you can go ahead and just pull that right off of there. And it's 
these grooves right here that we have to sand down because that A in fitting is not going to fit on there. And then we're going to have to cut this first groove off just to get a nice close fit on there. So I'll go ahead and get this other side off. All right, so I got these two pieces off. And this is what I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut this one here. Cut this piece here to give some room for these fittings to get on. These fittings. Do not fit. So this is not just a seamless plug and play. I mean, you're not going to get this to fit. If you have sandpaper, you're going to, which is what I had, you're going to be sanding for a couple hours. So uh, I'm going to use this Dremel and I'm going to go ahead and use this piece first that came with it just to kind of cut. And then I'm going to use this one to sand it down to give me enough for this uh, fitting to get in there. And then we'll go ahead and put the hose in there. All right, so I'm going to try this to give you a better angle, although you probably don't need it. It's pretty straightforward. Just going to try to get this first clip right here. All right, this is my first time, so I uh, am not a pro with this, but just trying to get the job done. And now we're just going to sand this down. And you're definitely going to wear goggles. You're going to have hot plastic flying everywhere. All right, let me get the second one. Same thing, just going to sand it down. Get the other A fit and fitting on there, and then we'll move to that catch can. All right, so I got a little electric tape on there. Buy me some space. That's a nice tight fit. So after bruising up my other ANs, I bought this, um, this little AN little socket. And so this will give you the measurements on, you know, 10 AN, 12, 16, and then it will give you the sizes so that you can get this on there. Tighten it up very easily. Okay, so this is connected. This is the setup we're looking for. This is the back piece with 145, and this is the front piece. All right, put the catch cans on, and then I'll let you take a look at this before we do the measure. Right, so let's get this catch can together. I got my bracket on there, and this is gonna take a T30. And the fittings, get these on there. And these catch cans do come with their own nuts and bolts for this back piece. So whatever you're trying to do as far as how you're gonna set yours up, it is gonna come with its own nuts and bolts for these two back pieces. I just had to modify mine because of where I'm, where I'm putting it. <clears throat> All right, so now that we got this on, and the bracket. We're ready for the install, and then we'll measure out, and then we'll cut the hose. Make sure we got a good fit. All right, so I went ahead and made the first cut the braided hose. I'm about to make the second cut. It's a real good tool to use. I only use the scissors just to kind of get the little fray off, but this is nice. Cutting the braided hose and getting a nice clean cut. Right, so this is my front, this is my back. Now we'll go ahead and show you how to get these connectors on for the ANs. 
All right, so this one is the back to get these AM fittings on. We're just gonna unscrew this. And get the <clears throat> hose on this side to bottom out. You can probably see that little edge there, bottom out there. And then we're gonna screw this right back on. And now we just screw this in and this will lock in. All right, and so now I have this on here with my vise and, and the socket wrench and now it's just an easy turn. All right, so this is the end point. This is the back looping out to the catch can. This is the front. I'm gonna clip those two back in, braided, go into the catch can. So there's our front and back. We'll get these clipped in and uh, see how it looks. All right, we got the install and it is fully hooked up, clamped up. So as you can see, you do have enough room with the AN setup. I'll move that out of the way and you can see. piece right here it does fit under both connectors will fit underneath there and the lines will run straight up to the catch cans and then I kind of have that symmetrical look on both sides which is what I was looking for and to be honest you probably won't be able to see much of that once I put the cover and stuff on so let me put the cover on. Again, thanks guys for watching. Any questions, comments, throw them in there. I'm sure people help me out. There's a lot of guys that really know what they're doing. I'm just the guy next door playing around with this car. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and appreciate it.